Hello, my friends. Today's vlog is all about my absolute favorite Chinese food, hot pot. We're talking history, why I love it so much, and some tips on how to eat hot pot. I hope you're watching this video on a full stomach or else you are gonna be craving some delicious hot pot once you finish. Anywho, enjoy the video. What is hot pot exactly? It is best defined as both a dish and an experience. Hot pot is basically a simmering pot of soup stacked on an electric or gas range, and the diners directly boil raw and uncooked foods in the pot. Hot pot has been around in China for at least a thousand years. The first hot pots were thought to be known as a simple cooking mechanism. And it wasn't until the Three Kingdoms era in 220 AD when the more recognizable smaller copper pot that had dividers was put to use. From then, the different variations that we see today emerged. Whether you're in Hangzhou trying flower hot pot or in Hainan province eating coconut hot pot. From north to south, east to west, there are dozens of different ways and styles to eat the hot pot. And don't think that hot pot only exists in China because Japan, Vietnam, Cambodia all have their own unique flavors. So if you've never had hot pot, this is your sign to go find some in your city right now. You will not regret it. Hot pot is delicious. Who doesn't love a DIY meal that you can customize and cook for yourself? Hot pot is more than just delicious. It is hearty. It's comforting. It can warm you up on a cold winter's day. It can easily be made vegan or vegetarian and friendly, and it's just a whole experience. So good, no spicy, but insane spicy. I am loving it. Now I am all about the saucy sauce sauce sauce. The options, the variations, the choices, the flavors that you have when it comes to dipping sauce are basically endless. Everyone has their own special recipe for the dipping sauce and mine goes a little bit like this. First we gotta get the sesame sauce and then I like so many green onions. Lots of coriander, AKA cilantro. Loads of crushed garlic, poison sauce. A dollop of that. This is sesame oil. Some of that in there. Some spicy lago ma spice. Chili paste, just a dash. Then, oh, fried garlic. I'm gonna smell amazing. Peanuts. Then we get some sugar in there, and then we mix it all up. So this is my normal, everyday sauce, normal sauce, and I gotta make my spicy sauce. Chongqing style, where it's literally like a little accoutrement, a whole bunch of garlic, and sesame oil. Some peppers in there, and let's get some chili oil. Two sauces! <laughs> Since hot pot is a communal meal that involves sharing a pot, it is an incredibly social meal. It really is the atmosphere for me, y'all. I love to eat hot pot with my friends. We sit around, we talk, we laugh, we drink a few drinks, and we just have the best time ever enjoying delicious food and enjoying life. You can literally have a hot pot meal last for three or four hours without realizing it because you're just kicking back, vibing, eating slowly, and not having a care in the world. Ordering hot pot is fairly simple. The first thing you need to choose is your soup base. Do you want a spicy broth or a mushroom flavored broth or coconut broth or chicken broth? The choice is yours. Next, 
you order your raw and uncooked foods. Some common hot pot faves include thinly sliced beef or lamb, shrimp, fish fillet, tofu sheets, quail eggs, bean sprouts, oyster mushrooms, leafy greens, duck intestines, duck blood. The choices are endless. The waiter will turn on your stove. The soup broth will get to boiling. All you do is place your food inside the broth. Lots of people have their own choices on what they like to cook first. I like for the meat to cook first. Then once the food is cooked, you dip it in your sauce and you shove it straight into your mouth. Mm, mm, mm. It's not that spicy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I'm feeling the tingle. Can you tell my tongue is like getting numb? You just wait. You just You just wait. Never mind. I should just wait. At this very moment, you're probably thinking, damn, I really want some hot. Why'd you do this to me, Elise? I'm starving. Well, I hope you can find a hot pot restaurant in your city. And if you can't, maybe you'll just have to wait until these Chinese borders open. And I will gladly recommend all of my favorite hot pot places for you to visit. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. You know what it is, Elise Light. Over and out.